Hey everybody, today we're gonna make a little bit of a weird cable. Um, we're gonna do a, uh, a special cable that has a hotline that's outside of the jacketing, uh, so that if we use a uh, multimeter or a clamp multimeter to check amperage, uh, you can get a good idea of what your uh, system is drawing. So I've got a system coming up that is a little bit funky and I wanna make sure that I'm measuring the amperage um, before I send it to our customer, just so I can tell him how much his system actually draws. So um, I'm gonna build this little cable. So I've got some SJO 12.3 cable that I'm working with right now, and I'm doing a truly terrible job stripping. Um, and we are just gonna pop out Our little cardboard separators in here. And we are also going to snip off our hot, our black cable. Okay, so we've got that off. Got this little pull string in here too. Get rid of that guy. Okay. So this is 12 conductor, or this is 12 conductor, this is 12 gauge cable. Strip our ends off here. Now I've got this little blue wire here also. So this is, this is the way that this is gonna work. This is gonna be uh, the neutral and the ground are gonna be inside the jacketing and then the, the hotline is gonna be exposed so that you can take a, uh, a clamp meter and just meter it like this so that it's just easier to read. Sometimes those clamp meters don't work unless they're, uh, they have a full hotline completely isolated, which, you know, it's what you want to measure is the, the, the amperage going through the hotline. So just gonna put this in here like this, get our ground in. Neutral in. Okay, and now we're going to put our hotline in. Okay, so now that that's in, I'm going to grab our back. Stick this guy in here like this. Never get this right when I'm doing it on camera. I can do it a thousand times by myself. But as soon as the rest of the world is watching, I mess it up. Okay, so this is in. I wanted to leave this off to see if I needed to stick a little piece of heat shrink in there, and I think I am, just to keep this wire from being too floppy. Let's see, the piece I get, is this big enough? It is not. Luckily, I've got another piece right here. Okay, get this in there like this. this down, strain relief on the cable. Okay. 
Okay, so this is nice and tight on here like this. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, Billy, why is this cable a little bit longer? Well, it's like that so that when this is in, we have a nice little loop. So what I also want to do is just make a little heat shrink label that just says hotline. Just in case anybody happens to find this cable and wonders what the heck it is. Keep that in there like that. Now we're gonna put our, I think I'm gonna be a little bit smarter this time and put our heat shrink on first. Just stick that in here like this because it will certainly be Heck of a lot easier. Well, actually, let's put this guy on first. So, boy, it's always the thing when you're building cables, you have to do it all in the order that you're going to assemble it, which sometimes messes with your brain. And by sometimes, I mean generally. It generally messes with my brain. And I do this every day. So, I'm putting the heat shrink on now before I strip the or I strip the wires to make it a little bit easier. It's easier to uh, put that over before there's wires flipping all out like that. I'm just gonna cut this jacketing. And we're going to repeat our same procedure as on the other side. Okay, just cutting these little cardboard conductor separators. We are going to pull our hot out of here, cut that. Okay, cool. So we've got our neutral, we've got our ground. And we've got our hotline. So we'll take our catapult here. Okay. We got it. Of course. <laughs> Let's get that one more time. Sometimes if it has a little foil on there, just have to. Okay, trim our neutral back a little bit more here. Okay. So, stick our ground, our neutrals in. Hotline in. Went in a little too far there. Just want to make sure we're making contact. Okay. Now we can take our heat shrink. Just bring this up this, or at least attempt to. Okay, shrink this down. Q. 
keep those guys together. And for the sake of making this easy, I'm just gonna shrink this guy down because I think that it's gonna get caught. This guy, I'm sorry, I was doing that off camera. No one can see what I'm doing. And find our little guide. These aren't the, these aren't the uh, outlets I usually use, or the connectors I usually use. I was out of my Lex ones that I normally use, and I had to get these from Home Depot, so I'm just trying to use them up ground is on that side sorry for this you guys okay yikes tighten this guy down like this This guy down like this. Okay, and this is our finished cable. So when you take your clamp meter and want to measure amperage, it just goes in there, just like that. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if it works. So coming off of my power distro over here, I've got my heat gun. So let's plug this in. Plug our heat gun in. Get our amp meter. And let's see. Yeah. Wow. This uh, heat gun draws about 9.3 amps. <laughs> now we know. Uh, thanks for stopping by.